Vintage sheep, brand new phone, high heels on cobblestones. When you were young, they assume you know nothing. Hello, it's me, the Atlantic Teacher, here to teach you how to play Cardigan by the wonderful and lovely young lady that has got the name that is called Taylor Swift. So, grab your uke. Now for this song you'll see that I am using a capo on the first fret, or a capo I should say. Now I know a lot of you guys don't have capos, and in fact I couldn't find mine when I started filming this lesson this morning. So what I've done is I've simply used one pencil and one rubber band, and I've twisted the rubber band around and around and around the pencil, and around the back of the ukulele, and voila, one homemade capo. And with the capo on the first fret, your uke should sound like this. Now there's already loads of ukulele tutorials teaching you easy ways to play cardigan and they are fantastic tutorials, you should certainly check them out. Where mine is, I feel unique, is because I am going to teach you how to play it in the original Taylor Swift key and I'm going to teach you a more appropriate strumming pattern to try and match that piano a little bit more accurately. So buck up for the ride and here we go. First thing I want to do is just play you through a couple of verses and choruses to give you a rough idea of how it'll sound when you've learned it. Everything's going to be on the screen, but if you'd like a PDF song sheet to help you follow along with the lesson and put the whole thing together, then sign up today to patreon.com slash youteacher. Three, four, But I knew you dancing in your leave as drunk under the street light. I, I knew you hand under my sweatshirt, baby kiss you better. I and when I felt like I was an old cardigan under someone's bed, you put me on and said I was your favorite. So that's basically a rough idea of how the song will sound, but I'm going to take you through each of the sections in the song and I'm going to break it down for you piece by piece. Just a quick note though, before we go any further, I am using this beautiful Zero Coat ukulele from Carla. If you'd like more information about this particular ukulele, including a very generous discount, then check out the link to my personal Carla store in the video description below. These are the chords you'll need for the song. If you already know them, then skip ahead now. To play the chord of E minor, put your first finger on the second fret of the first string, your second finger on the third fret of the second string, and your third finger on the fourth fret of the third string. And the chord of E minor should sound like this. To play the chord of A, put your first finger on the first fret of the third string, and your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And the chord of A should sound like this. To play the chord of G, put your first finger on the second fret of the third string, your second finger on the second fret of the first string, and your third finger on the third fret of the second string. And the chord of G should sound like this. To play the chord of D, I like to put a bar on the second fret with my first finger, that means I push down on all four strings at the same time. Then I put my fourth finger on the fifth fret of the first string. And the chord of D should sound like this. And to play the chord of B minor, keep that bar on the second fret with your first finger, but add your third finger to the fourth fret of the fourth string. And the chord of B minor should sound like this. Now where I've tried to make this interpretation of cardigan my own is with the strumming pattern. A lot of you guys will be used to playing the same old down, down, up, up, down, up strumming pattern on pretty much everything you play, but this song is kind of slow, kind of moody, and I felt like it was time for a change. So what I decided to play for this song is something like this. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, as a strumming pattern. Let's just try and play it through a few times all together on the chord of E minor. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. And that's the strumming pattern 
that I'm playing more or less throughout the entire song. Now you don't have to play that exact strumming pattern, just try and play something that sounds similar that you're comfortable playing. So let's start off by learning verse 1. The chords for that are just E minor to A, followed by G to A, played through twice. And I play that down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up pattern once on each of those chords, like this. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And that's how to play verse one. It should sound something like this. Vintage cheap, brand new phone, high heels on cobblestones. When you were young, they assume you know nothing. Sequin smile, black lipstick, sensual politics. When you were young, they assume you know nothing. takes us into the pre-chorus, and the chords for that are just D to A to G to A, again with that down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up pattern played through once on each of those chords, like this. D, A, G, A. So your pre-chorus should sound like this. But I knew you dancing in your Levi's, drunk under the street like I. I knew you hand under my sweatshirt, baby kiss you better. I. And then that takes you into your first chorus. And the reason I say the first chorus is because the chords for chorus number one are slightly different to the second and third choruses. First time round for the chorus, you just play E minor, A, G, and A, just like the verse. And when I felt like I was an old cardigan under someone's bed You put me on and said I was your favourite From there we go into verse 2, which is exactly the same as verse 1, but it's just half the length And then that takes you into the next pre-chorus, which is exactly the same as the first pre-chorus but with different words. And then that takes you into the second chorus, which, like I said, is different to the first chorus. The words are the same, but the chords change to G, B minor, D to G, like this. And when I felt like I was an old cardigan under someone's bed, you put me on and said I was your favorite. And then that takes us into our first bridge. And here the chords are G, B minor, A to G, played through twice. Again, that same down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, strumming pattern all the way through. As I said, we play that through twice, the first time as an instrumental, and then the second time with words. So let's play through bridge one all together now, like this. just like all the other pre-choruses we've done so far, except it's twice as long. So let's go ahead and play it through now together. Cause I knew you stepping on the last train Marked me like a bloodstain I, I knew you tried to change the ending Feet losing when I, I knew you leaving like a father Running like water I, when you are young you know nothing. 
And then that takes us into our second bridge. And here the chords are D, A, G, A twice, followed by E minor to A to G to A. And the bridge should sound something like this. But I knew you'd linger like a tattoo is. Knew you'd hold all of my what ifs. The smell of smoke would hang around this long. Cause I knew everything when I was young. How do I curse you for the longest time? Chasing shadows in the gold street line. I knew you'd miss me once the thrill expired. And you'd be standing in my front porch light. I knew you'd come back to me. And you'd come back to me. And you'd come back to me. And you'd come back. And, come back. and from there, you just repeat chorus number two to end the song. So put that all together and that's how to play Cardigan by the wonderful Taylor Swift. Don't forget if you'd like a PDF song sheet to help you put the whole thing together then sign up today to patreon.com slash uteacher because you get a PDF song sheet with every lesson. You get loads of other cool perks, goodies and bonus rewards and it means that I can keep doing this for you. So that's how to play Cardigan by Taylor Swift. I've been the ukulele teacher. If you have any requests for future lessons, then let me know right now in the comments below. Otherwise, until next time, I love you all and I wish you the best.